The long-awaited Wednesday series is finally out, so it's time to see why Jenna Ortega felt as if she'd lost her voice. Find out why Luis Guzman is actually a perfect Gomez Adams, despite the controversy. And learn which Wednesday star gave birth to a son last year. Jenna Ortega as Wednesday Adams. All the actress says about her personal life is that she's never dated anyone. It's hard to believe, given her good looks and charisma, but let's give the young lady a chance to protect her privacy and talk about her performance. Ortega was thrilled when she landed the part of Wednesday. I think it's been really interesting doing an eight-episode series and just kind of creating a deeper emotional arc for her. However, the filming process wasn't as smooth as she'd hoped. The issue was the directing. Turns out that Tim Burton wasn't the only director. There were two more. And it stressed Jenna out. She felt as if all of them wanted different things for Wednesday, and the actress didn't always agree with the changes they offered. There have never been so many cooks in the kitchen. I was completely lost and confused, Ortega shared. But the worst part was that Jenna felt as if no one trusted her with the character. Typically, she doesn't have a problem stating her opinion on a set. But after the first month of filming, she felt defeated. Thankfully, it didn't stop the young actress. Instead, Jenna used the situation to grow and learned how to use her voice. I've been so much better about being honest about my opinions and thoughts, she shared. And the actress also had to prepare for the role quite a bit. I went to fencing lessons twice a week. I went to cello lessons twice a week. And she even learned to walk like Wednesday. That's how detail-oriented Jenna is. It was also important for the actress that she didn't do a knockoff of Christina Ricci's performance, although it was definitely an honor for her to meet the actress who played Wednesday years ago. We'll get back to Ricci later. But now, let's talk about Luis Guzman as Gomez Adams. When it was announced that Luis had landed the role, controversy ensued. A lot of people criticized Guzman and even demanded they cast someone else, all because he looks nothing like John Aston or Raul Julia, who played Gomez in previous versions. So most fans expected to see a taller and more attractive Mr. Adams this time as well. But in fact, Guzman suits the role more than his predecessors did. In the Adams Family cartoons, which are the original source source of the story, Gomez is a short, slightly pudgy man. In fact, what always made Gomez and Morticia's relationship so interesting is the way he adored her unconditionally, and his physical appearance never mattered to the plot. What's more, Guzman is a brilliant actor who has appeared in dozens of movies and TV shows, and he was thrilled when Tim Burton offered him the role. Playing that Gomez character that I grew up on is like, Yo, man, dreams still do come true. In real life, Guzman is happily married. He's been with his wife, Angelita Galarza Guzman, for almost 30 years. They have five kids together, but the actor doesn't like to talk about his private life, so we don't know anything about him. Yet his on-screen wife is much more open. Catherine Zeta-Jones as Morticia Adams. If you don't know who this actress's real-life partner is, you've probably lived on another planet your whole life. She and Michael Douglas have been married for over two decades and have a son and a daughter together. Like most couples, they've had their ups and downs and even almost got divorced at one point, but they managed to work things out. And these days, Catherine and Michael say that their relationship is stronger than ever. I, mean, I can't believe my luck. I know. No, I'm, I'm with you. I'm, I can't believe my luck. The careers of both actors are also going strong. Joining the cast of the Wednesday series was an honor for Catherine. I'm so excited to be, to be working with you know the great Tim Burton and and you know actually the makeup and, and and costume designer who I've worked with before. The series also reunited the actress with Luis Guzman. They co-starred in the movie Traffic years ago, so they were excited to work together again. And they were also glad to see a few new faces, such as Isaac Ordonez as Pugsley Adams. There's not much to tell about him yet, as he's only beginning his career. Isaac is 12 years old and was in A Wrinkle in Time. Landing the role of Pugsley is a great opportunity for the young actor to work with more experienced co-stars, and we're sure that he has a bright future ahead of him. As of now, Isaac's living the life of an ordinary teenager, having fun with his friends and posting photos on his Instagram. And we're moving on to the next unforgettable Adams Family member. Visit our awesome merch shop. We have branded t-shirts, hoodies, eco bags, and even phone cases. You can choose between dozens of unique and awesome designs. Click the link under the video and find your perfect match. Fred Armisen as Uncle Fester. The actor was so committed to his role that he even shaved his head for it. Yeah. 
for real. Harmison decided to do it because he doesn't think that bald caps look good. However, the actor still needed some work done in order for his head to look smoother and to cover his eyebrows. There would be a layer of makeup, then powder just to make me look more pale, and then dark circles around my eyes, Armisen shared. Sometimes the director would say that he wanted the circles to be darker, so the actor had to spend even more time in the makeup chair. And yet, it was interesting for him to play Uncle Fester. Armisen loves how the guy is a weirdo, but a happy weirdo. It's a real happy smile, not a sinister villain one. This is someone who's enjoying themselves, the actor said. Well, that's Uncle Fester. When it comes to Armisen's personal life, it's actually quite messy. In the past, he's been married twice, first to singer Sally Timms and then to actress Elizabeth Moss. After divorcing him, Moss shared that their marriage was traumatic for her. She didn't give any details but mentioned that the greatest impersonation Armisen does is that of a normal person. The actor himself later admitted that he was never a good husband and felt bad about it. However, the woman with whom Fred was with the longest didn't say anything like that. Actress Natasha Leone dated him for eight years before they broke up this April. So we hope that Armisen has left his dark past behind. Now let's move on to the new characters. Ricky Lindholm as Dr. Valerie Kinbot. Wednesday isn't the actress's first big project. You may have seen Lindholm in The Big Bang Theory as Ramona Nowitzki, a graduate student who was obsessed with Sheldon. And she was also in Knives Out, as well as the comedy horrors Hell Baby and The Wolf of Snow Hollow. But Ricky's most prominent project is her duo with actress Kate Michucci. It's called Garfunkel and Oates, and their songs are hilarious! All the jobless people need to learn to be content Cause what we need to do is protect our 1%, save the rich. The ladies even ran an eponymous comedy TV series that received an Emmy nomination for original music. Lindholm doesn't talk much about her personal life, and we have no idea if she's dating anyone. But what we do know is that in March this year, she gave birth to her son. The actress shared the news in an Instagram post, and although Ricky shows quite a few pics of the little guy, she's never shared who the father is. But she looks happy, so we're happy for her. Now let's talk about Gwendolyn Christie as Larissa Weems. She's the principal of Wednesday's school, Nevermore Academy. In recent years, the actress's career has exploded. After all, Christie was pretty much everywhere. She was in Star Wars, The Force Awakens, and The Last Jedi. She also played Brienne of Tarth in Game of Thrones. And most recently, you could have seen Gwendolyn as Lucifer in the Netflix adaptation of The Sandman. At the same time, the actress's personal life is pretty stable. She's been in a relationship with fashion designer Giles Deacon for almost a decade. Before they started dating, they were friends for a while, so it became a great foundation for their strong bond. Christy often wears dresses Giles has designed, and he even created her Lucifer look in The Sandman. The actress often says that she believes in her husband as an artist, and he also supports her in everything she does. Talk about a happy couple. And last but not least, let's discuss the long-awaited appearance of Christina Ricci as Marilyn Thornhill. Since she played Wednesday in the previous live-action version of The Addams Family, her presence in Tim Burton's series is quite special. Ricci's role was kept a secret for quite a while. The only thing I can tell you about my character is that I do not play Wednesday. The actress shared that she was honored to join the cast especially because Wednesday has been a huge part of her life. But it didn't come without a challenge. Christina had to switch from mom mode to actor mode. She and her husband, hairstylist Mark Hampton, welcomed a baby girl last December. However, although it wasn't easy, Richie loved returning to the Addams Family universe. And of course, she totally supported Jenna Ortega playing the iconic character. She's so good. And so good and so wonderful to work with. And her Wednesday is like really an incredible, like, great I think you'd modern take. Great Support Asa by sending a super thanks. Just click on the thanks button under the video and choose an amount to donate. Stay awesome, and remember, we value each one of you. And what do you think about Ortega's performance and the series itself? Share in the comments below. And as always, stay awesome.